y'all, welcome back. Jeremy with Silencer Shop here today with the Huxworks Ventum 556. This is a flow through suppressor like you would expect from Huxworks, meaning it has a really cool internal structure to get that gas moving out the front of the suppressor so you don't get blowback, you don't have too much gas pressure over running your semi-automatic firearms. What makes the Ventum unique is that it is not entirely 3D printed like the rest or almost the rest of Hux Works's suppressors. This uses a 17.4 stainless steel housing and then it has your DMLS 3D printed grade five titanium core. So there's two advantages to this. One is that the price point is a little lower than some of the fully 3D printed Hux Works suppressors. And two is that it's user serviceable. You can take out the 3D printed grade five titanium core. You can see some of the cool features on it, which is kind of fun. And you can throw this in an ultrasonic tank or in the Huxworth cleaning solution, which we'll show in a minute. This one, as you can see, is a little bit dirty. We shot it for all that footage earlier and uh, it sounds great, especially on semi-automatic firearms, but there is nothing wrong with using the Ventum 556 on a bolt action rifle or other gun shooting 22 250 or you know 223 556 and it is full auto rated then at the base of the ventum 556 is a hub mount so you've got your universal hub thread size and if you want to run a uh, fixed mount like this or run one of the huxworks qd systems or anyone else's hub compatible mount you have that option optimized for 556 use on carbines and machine guns so full auto rated short barrel rated the Ventum 556 is a flow through design to get all that gas moving out the front so you're not getting gas and debris in the face. So your gun is cycling at the correct speed and power that it's supposed to. And it also does a great job at flash suppression. On a semi-automatic firearm or a machine gun like an M16, it can help reduce the volume level at the shooter's ear as well by getting more of the gas and the sound volume going out the front of the gun and not popping so much through the ejection port. One nice feature on the 3D printed core is these clear markings that says bullets go this way. We have arrows up telling you which way the bullets exit the core, which is pretty handy. And this says base end on it. So we know which end goes inside of the 17.4 stainless steel housing. Really, really easy to get this assembled. And of course it comes with whatever necessary tools to do that if you tighten it down a little too much. When it's time to clean the core of your Ventum 556, if it happens, a lot of those rifle rounds keep it really clean for thousands of rounds, but you wanna clean it, the Huxworks Suppressor Souse is a good option. It is a powder form cleaner, which is kind of cool, and it comes with the tube, so you mix it in there. You can drop the tube or the core or both inside there, and it cleans everything off. Chase did a video on that. It's in our shop tips, so if you wanna see how this works and how to clean your suppressors, check that out, linked right here. In the box with the Ventum 556 is a half by 28 fixed mount, hub size of course, and the tools to remove or tighten the mount, as well as this flow through flash hiding front cap. The Huxworks Ventum 556 weighs 15.2 ounces. It is 6.7 inches long and 1.8 inches in diameter. All right, y'all, that is the Huxworks Ventum 556, a really cool option from Huxworks that marries the high-tech 3D printed titanium suppressors that they're known for with a 17.4 stainless steel, kind of a traditional tube design that provides a couple of advantages. One, the price point's a little bit lower than the full 3D printed ones. And two, it's user serviceable, so you can take it apart for cleaning. It's also compatible with all of the hub accessories, which is great. Flow through design, full auto rated, sounds great, runs great on semi-autos and machine guns. Check it out, that is the Huxworks Ventum 556. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you here next time.